months ago, we removed the fiberglass roof from our VW LT31 van. Uh, the reason being is that there was quite a lot of rust just sat underneath the gutter of the roof. And in order to repair that, Chris needed to remove the roof so that he could really get stuck in, do all the welding. I mean, it's like literally every single part of the gutter was just shot to pieces. So he's had to um, create like panels and stuff for that. So that's taken quite a long time. However, it was really good for me because the fiberglass roof had um, two cracked areas where obviously the previous owners had kind of hit some high things. And there was also a vent that we removed a few weeks ago that I needed to fill it in with fiberglass. So I've never done fiberglassing before, but actually it was really easy and I'm gonna show you how I did it. So as you can see, this is the hole uh, that used to have some kind of vent in it. I imagine there was probably like a bathroom or something there at some point. Then using a cloth, I cleaned it with white spirit just to get rid of any kind of dirt and things like that. And then I taped up the area just using some kind of tape that we had lying around, I'm not even sure what type it is, but I layered it up a few times just to give it a little bit extra support because obviously all of the fiberglass is going to be sat on there. And then I found this fiberglass kit um, in a local marine shop just down the road from us. I think it was about 35 pounds and I then had to cut a template for uh, the, the hole using just a piece of cardboard so I just like layered over just cut it until it fit and then I cut out the pieces of the fiberglass just by tracing around the cardboard and then I cut out I think I cut out about 10 uh, pieces of fiberglass it's quite easy to cut I used kind of kitchen scissors and they seem to be perfectly fine. So the kit comes with quite a few bits and pieces already. You get the resin, which is, I mean loads, and then this little pot of hardener and a pot to mix it in. Making sure that I wore gloves because it was pretty horrible stuff to work with. And then using a stick just mixed it until it had set. And then it's really quite easy, you just layer it up, apply the resin between the layers until the whole area is filled in. And then look at that, look how hard that is. What are you doing on the other side of the fence? <laughs> it's on. Yeah. Oh. Well, I am doing this. Standing up down the patch repair. Now here you can see the cracks on the sides that I've already filled in and then just sand it all down until it's kind of level. And then I primed it with some grey primer just to get it ready for when we're going to do the paint job in a few months time. So as you can see, it is really, really easy to do. I've never done anything like that before and I'm quite happy with the results, so you can do it too. So yeah, so there's a little update on what we've been up to. Hopefully you found this video interesting and I will see you soon for another van update or just daily vlog. Bye!